Riveting day in Washington. High drama involving President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn. Today, Flynn's sentencing was postponed at the last minute after the judge threw some very harsh words at him and signaled he may be ready to hand down a tough sentence that would include jail time. Blaine Alexander is in Washington. Blaine. Well, hello to you from Washington. During that hearing today, the judge looked at Flynn and told him you sold your country out. At one point, he even asked a prosecutor if Flynn could have been charged with treason. Now, the judge said he wasn't suggesting it. He was just asking, but the judge's tone seemed to catch many people by surprise. The sentencing hearing for President Trump's former national security advisor, Michael Flynn, did not go as anybody expected. Flynn had pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI, and both prosecution and defense agreed Flynn should have leniency because he had cooperated with special counsel Robert Mueller. What Judge Sullivan said repeatedly is, sir, you lied to the FBI on the grounds of the White House in the West Wing. Do you know how egregious that conduct is? And you could see Judge Sullivan's anger. And despite the prosecution recommending little to no prison time, the judge said he could not guarantee that he would not send Flynn to prison. Flynn's team chose to postpone the sentencing for at least 90 days. This election. Flynn was fired from the Trump administration after less than a month on the job for lying to Vice President Pence about contact with the then Russian ambassador, the same subject of his lie to the FBI. This morning, President Trump tweeted, wishing Flynn good luck in court and again denying any collusion with Russia. Any actions he engaged in had nothing to do with the president. Flynn is a central figure in the Russia investigation. President Trump asked his former FBI director, James Comey, to end his investigation into Flynn. The president later fired Comey, and the special counsel was appointed about a week later. And Flynn could be called to testify against a former business associate in a different case, but that cooperation may have some bearing on Flynn's own sentencing. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4. Okay, Blaine. Now to a Local 4 update. Detroit Police Chief James Craig is speaking out about a one-year-old boy hospitalized after police say he ingested an opioid. That should have never happened. How does a one-year-old get a hold of op opioids? If you don't secure weapons, medication, uh, they're going to explore. That's what children do. And so uh, we just don't know enough at this point. But it is a tragedy. The boy is in critical condition. Police are investigating. So far, no one is in custody.